Good morning, y'all. Welcome to today's video. I'm Adam Sandoval, and I will be your host across adventure riding in Mexico. We're going to take dual sport adventure bikes, and we're going to ride all the way down to the tip of Cabo over the next nine days and it's all being hosted by my friends over at ride adventure they offer lots of different kind of bikes like the 500x by honda ktm 790 i am going to be riding the yamaha Tenere 700 now this bike here this is a bike i've been wanting to ride for a long time and today will be my first time throwing a leg over it and we've also got a couple of honda africa twins how's it feel man I like it you like it i like it a lot Our fearless leader. Ah, I'm super fearful right now. Super fearful. <laughs> How you feeling? You comfortable? Good. Yeah? No, not comfortable. No? But, you know, I got some miles to get comfortable. Proud of her? I'm very proud. Our fearless leader number two. Yes. You ready for this? The co-captain's so ready for it. Hell yeah. Step number one across the border. We have to sit in this line here because, well, our... Uh, Chase vehicles got spare tires and parts like that, and you have to declare that type of stuff at the border. So you're gonna have to pay a little something and get that stuff through to make sure we're all safe. And then we will all roll through the border smoothly. This is a good time to meet our riders. Howdy. Howdy. Where are you from? Southwest Oklahoma. How much experience do you have on adventure bikes? First day. No. No, no, I'd say, I don't know, a dozen rides or so. A dozen rides, and what have you ridden at home? Mostly sand, river sand. Oof. Yeah. Your wife's calling you. No, I got one of them. Yeah. He's single, ladies. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's how he gets away. How much experience on adventure bikes? Uh, 35 years. Oh, you've been riding adventure bikes 35 years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. buddy. And you just got a new bike? Yeah. What'd you KTM get? KTM 890R. Adventure R. All so, right. How much experience do you have on adventure bikes? Five, six years, but I grew up on dirt bikes and trail bikes. So you're a rider? Yeah. All right, man. You excited? How do you like the Africa Twin? It's pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I got a BMW, it's a little different, but it's good, I like it. What my BMW you got? My neighbor's got one of those. Uh, I got an R1200 GSA. Woo. Yeah. How much adventure bike experience do you have? I grew up on dirt bikes. Since I was 21, I've been riding nothing but Harleys. Mm -hmm. Although, from Fairbanks to Arctica, I did ride a dual sport BMW three years ago. All right, so, man, so nothing new to you, really? It's definitely gonna be a different trip, <laughs> especially when we get on the dirt and the sand and the gravel. Heck yeah, man. We will see how these Tenere's do. How much experience do you have on adventure bikes? I have like 20 miles. Woo! <laughs> 20 miles. <laughs> how are you liking it so far? Good, really good, excellent. And how tall are you? 5'2". And uh, how are you doing with the one leg stopping so far? Good, I think it's a 32, 33 inch seat height. So um, I'm, I'm getting it. All right. Yeah. How much experience do you have on adventure bikes? Uh, about a year. That's it. About a year. Yeah. yeah. But you've been tour guiding here now with the company? Yeah, for a couple months. Been guiding, got into dirt last summer, got into this last summer, and um, it's a disease. So it took over my life. Yeah. Ride Adventures is dedicated to adventure. We are out here to make sure everybody has a kick ass time and learn something new and experiences something beautiful. So, yeah. Well put. We got one rider here that's not in full gear. If you go to San Diego, do not get on an electric scooter. Stick with your bike. Oh, man. <laughs> Flew all the way out here to ride, had a wreck on an electric scooter day before we left. <laughs> Broke both wrists. This is my ride right back here. Oh, man. But but you're sticking with it anyhow. You're going to ride in the van and come on down with us and enjoy the trip? You bet. It could be worse. It could be worse. And you're doing this, you were planning on doing this trip with your boy, right? That's right. This is your son? Yes. Father-son combo on a trip. That is probably one of the coolest stories we could have possibly had. Uh, I still think it's going to be a cool story, even though you're in the van. We've been looking forward to this for years. And Years. Shit happens. Oh <laughs> man. I'd like to welcome y'all to Tijuana. Apparently, even the police ride adventure bikes out here. Down one. <laughs> I don't know how 
love your attitude. <laughs> you did great. Thanks. Thanks. What is this? Is this lunch? No, this is uh, coffee. Coffee? coffee? Break. Yeah. Coffee time. I like coffee. If you gotta drink coffee in Mexico, good coffee. This would be a place to do it. So we're here in the uh, Valle de Guadalupe Valley wine country at a delicious, unique, authentic Mexican restaurant. It's the best. Is anybody hungry? Starved. Yeah. They got dairy cows. Those are big ass cows. Those are big cows. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we got this weird looking um, cheese. We thought maybe it was goat, but it is not. It is actually from the cow. Maybe, probably made from them dairy cows we saw out front. The salsa's a little spicy, but I'm going to try a little bit on this chip. It's, it's as soft as it looks, but it's smooth. So we're doing family style. We're basically getting all different types of uh, food, and we're going to uh, sample them across the entire table. So we got so far tortillas, gorditas, machaca, some lamb. I had some burritos made out of that stuff uh, last time I was in Mexico and it was phenomenal. So you know it's good when you bite into a little piece of bone or cartilage. <laughs> it came right off this farm. Look at that, two of them in there. That is not uh, processed in a plant and then frozen and thrown in the oven. That's for sure. So uh, apparently we're gonna get some flapjacks for dessert. You gonna try one? So. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna squeeze it in? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it doesn't taste anything like a traditional pancake. No. Yeah, you gotta at least taste it. It's like a corn, you can see it's kind of thick, and chunky. It's like a cornmeal. I'll try a little maple syrup on it, but it's dang good by itself, to be honest. Mm. Man, that is good. All right, before we head out here, I gotta show you guys this a little bit better because I'm just about positive this is where lunch came from. So their pork, their chicken, their dairy, their beef. I think all of it came from right here. Probably the freshest meal I've eaten in my life, to be honest. And now we ride. stop in the middle of this valley for a restroom break. We've been cutting down this road. For miles. Everybody's stretching out. Tenere 7's doing great. I'm actually enjoying it now that I found the power band, which is up much higher than I expected. And welcome to the lodging for the night. This sweet little low-key motel tucked away in these hills and in the backyard oh they all moved off there were just a bunch of sheep here maybe i'll catch them well there they are over there eating on the hillside y'all see them trimming that hillside tell you the uh the livestock you know it's all free range and it was alongside the road a lot of today really a beautiful day i mean horses and their babies absolutely no trees out here very very few trees I imagine lumber is pretty high out here. So my room is number 10. Got all the things we need. Including a toilet and a shower. I know what I'm ready for. A little bit of that. Right there. 
be yeah, good. The they were capitalists. They've got to see the, the next They're going to Grandma's house. But right. crypto thing really mm -hmm. take us to They got these weird day. tops on them to keep them from putting water, water down their tequila. Pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. When that, when that two hole to the three hole and she got that little bang zing pow. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's my favorite part of the day. Oh, yeah, tennis shoes and KTM. Yeah. Two to third gear. Yep. Second gear to third gear. Oh, yeah. That's Man, where it's at. she goes, that 5,500, she, yeah. <laughs> I think that will, uh, that'll wrap us up for today. <laughs> we'll see y'all in the morning. I'm, uh, I'm going to bed. What an absolutely amazing experience riding through Mexico on our first day. This concludes episode one of our three-part mini-series. Stay tuned and check for episode two coming soon. Mm -hmm.